Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Rich Dad's Guys Investing. This is going to be my second book out of 200 books that I will be reading. And today I will be summarizing four key points out of um, all the points that he mentioned during the, during, the, during the book of Rich Dad Poor Dad. The first point he mentioned is that we need to explore the various options when we are, when we are coming to investing, not just one options. People tend to stick into one option. For example, like stocks, real estate, or like options, mutual fund or bonds, and then just stick into it. We tend to think like the options that we're, we're investing in is the one that one that is the best. If you're only investing one options of various type of type of investment options, the chances are that where you're not exploring the options in, enough. Author explains that the more options you explore, the chances of getting finding your good investment, it will be getting better. The, and the author suggests that in order to explore more financial options, you need to you need to widen your financial vocabulary. You need to widen your financial vocabulary because the vocabulary that you know will be all the options that you, you, have, you have a knowledge of. After he talks about how we need to explore various investment options rather than one option, the author talks about how to find a good investment opportunity. The author gives us criteria of whether the, this investment is good investment or bad investment. He talks about in general rule of thumb. The, the more assets and less liabilities, the better we are, we are going to be financially be. He explains that asset is the investment options that brings money into your pocket and liability as, as a, like the investment that puts, puts your money out of the pocket. For example, if you're putting your money into the bank, it is considered as assets because every month you get more money money from the bank as an interest rate. However, your house would be liability because you, you, you need to keep paying your mortgage, which puts your money out of pocket. He further suggests that every investment option that you're invested in, you need to figure out if, whether they are invest, whether they are asset or liabilities. Tell us the investment option that are asset and cut down the liability. The third key findings that he talks about is that price does not determine the value, but the supply, supply and demand does. He suggests that try to find an undervalued, undervalued investment and invest on it, rather than trying to just buy a popular stocks. If the stocks are popular, the chances are that they're very, the prices are at the very peak because there's more demand than the supply. So he, he suggests that to try to find the undervalued investment where no one else is invested in. And the author suggests that if you are trying to find an undervalued investment, you have to try to look for financial statements. You have to look closely into financial statements. The last key findings that I got from the book is that the best investment is investing in your own business. He mentions that the easiest way to get rich is to start your own business because if you own your own business, there is so much way to mitigate your taxes because the government wants to encourage people to start their business because it's gonna create more job. And he just suggested just to try, start with like a part-time part -time business and then make it bigger as, as you go. Overall, I, I think it was like really enjoyable to read. However, it, like the content was like really like out of place here and there. And a lot of contents here talked about how a lot of content of this book was dedicated into like a pr promoting his own, like the board games that he created, which is like cash flow, and I thought it was really kind of annoying to read that. Besides that, I think it's a really good book if you're just trying to enjoy the reading. And reading was, it was really easy to read. So a lot of contents in this book is talks about how to start your own business. So if you are interested in starting starting your own business, I really recommend reading this book and get, get the most more details out of it. And this is my second video. Um, hopefully this was better than the last video. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you again. And if you want to see me reading, summarizing more books and getting kind of going to be getting better at the summarizing the books, then please like and subscribe. Thank you. And if you want to see my other videos, it's going to be over here. So please go watch them if you want to. Thank you.